this sounds loud in my ear. <laughs> yeah. It's very cool. All right, I'm gonna turn this down just for myself because for some reason it's really loud for me. Still really loud. I'm gonna turn it off. Well, I need at least a little bit in there, right? Just so I can judge it. There you go. It's really cool. I really like that change you made here into that. It's very cool. Now, you have notes here. You have questions. Do you think I should go bigger on the jump at the end? Well, I mean, I like it. That being said, it's more on the realistic side. So if you have moments like where you kind of push the poses and maybe the graphic shapes, that could be something where you might want to push it or push the hang time a little bit, maybe. Not that this bothers me, but if you're pointing it out and you're wondering about that. Um, you wonder, you worry about going too high out of frame, but you could push it or just do a camera pass later on to keep track. To be honest, it would be actually really cool. I think you could go, like I said, you could, might potentially push the uh, the posing. Maybe you want to see more of the of the head, arms, maybe a different position. Maybe you even see more of that arm. You might want to maybe push that, just that line of action. Maybe go higher, like like you said, and, and um, maybe push the hang time a little bit, just the timing in general. And actually, it would be really cool to do a bit of a handheld pass and just follow the character. I can help you with that. You can send me the Maya file if you want. I can do a pass for you and then uh, you can adjust it and you know do whatever you want to do with it but I think that could be an interesting an interesting element ba -da -ba -da. now the third snap motion is feeling a bit bland compared to the first two so let's see hmm okay snap snap so do you feel I mean that's a wave it's not the snap so maybe the arm wrist flick just isn't quite selling it. Thoughts there, maybe change up the arm motion to something else. Interesting. Okay, okay. I like this. I like your your self-analysis. This is definitely cool. I like this. And I like that you just keep it right there. You got your color silhouette so you can see the fingers. Da. And I like but I like this too that because it's gives you that head down arm out and it, it leads the motion to the right what i liked about this one is that it is not a snap it's a flick but now if you feel like it's not enough i mean you could potentially go crazy and bring out oh, my horrible drawing the arm out here for a silhouette for a big for a big swing you know what i mean so it's not through there but or at least something where maybe that hand goes in here like I said oh like before when we mentioned the color silhouettes maybe that hand goes from here <coughs> so you already have a bigger swing and then that might be potentially even higher so when you go into this you can then have more of a see right now how it's your arm but I like how your shoulder and your chest react to it it's really well animated I mean this is little things that a lot of people miss when you have body movements how it affects the rest of the the body but what if since you're staying fairly put with this arm right once we're here it's fairly the same so what if you want to accentuate this like I said in here silhouette go out do your swing and when this happens it's potentially exaggerated with a shoulder up stronger out head up for a silhouette bam, bam and really out like that so it's not just that but it's like a like a stretch arm stretch out shoulder stretch and it's kind of like a almost like a, a wave that that waves through the whole body that could be something if you want to push it i could see that being cool from 93 hold on i got a tiny frame counter here 93 207 okay so that moment through there do you feel this area is too bland well, I mean, that could be the thing. If you make this moment bigger, then to me, you need that moment for contrast to calm down to then get into this. So maybe right now, I mean, this needs a bit of a change. I think it's a bit, see this? 
It's kind of like that arm is like a 2D card. Nothing really changes. So I think your self-analysis is right. And this could be pushed. And because of that, fa -pam, that snap moment, that that explosion, like that small explosion, you can calm down here for anticipation to do snap again into this. I think that would be cool. So let me see. Do the steps overall feel like they have enough weight? To me, yes. Question is, because we're still in step two, once you spline this, you might potentially want to experiment with... If you look right now, right, your root is fairly straight. There are some, there are some up and downs, but not huge. But it's also the dance. It's the dance that it's, it's fairly... Like that's the fun of it, how it how it's smooth and a straight line. Maybe as you spline this, you want to figure or you want to try out a little bit of a, a little bit more of an up and down in the roots in your, you know, in your TY. That could have a little bit of accents here and there. Right now, it doesn't bother me because I like the fluid motion because it's of of that dance move. But it could be something to experiment once you spline. I'm still not 100% smitten by this, although I like it better. So you do have your crossed arms. Like that, I will probably, I don't know if you have a, if you have a bend bow for that arm. And push that, so you have a bit more of a negative space to there. But I like your pa -pa into this. Let's watch out, once you spline this, you're going to have a big move through there that comes up straight, so you're going to have to kind of look at your arcs of your arms once you go into spline. This is just still something that bumps me where you got the arm bends, like the forearm and the, and the upper arm, they are overlapping, which doesn't make for a nice silhouette. And here we basically have an elbow stump. So that's the only thing it's, and I know we transition into this. So maybe once you spline this and maybe that's a faster move, it will just be in between. That's okay. But right now I'm just reading that frame. It just, I would work on that. Just giving this a bit more read. And this could be something maybe that, that arm comes out here. And maybe your your upper arm is there with the lower elbow. <clears throat> we see a bit of a, a breakthrough there and that hand is there. And you're just kind of pushing that a bit more. And then careful, same thing here you got. I would push that forearm there a bit more so we understand that arm. So it's not just a stump. Like once you get into here, I'm okay because now you got into like a fluid body line with one arm out. I don't mind that. But on something like that, even here, you could have the lower blue part here or blue part here. So it's not just a stump. The rest is cool. It's a really cool shot. So subjective thoughts. And I like your self-analysis. I think go with your gut. I think you have a really good grasp on what, what you think is not quite right and where you want to push things. And I'm just giving you my uh, added two cents, my subjective thoughts there. And that's that. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.